Hey guys, Caleb here and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be going through how I passed the AZ-104 as your Administrator Associate Certification and we're going to go through how I studied for the exam, my experience with the exam and the study resources that I used, um, little details like that and yeah, it should be good. So hope you enjoy. As I mentioned in my previous video, I scored an 806 over 1000, which is a decent score considering, considering the pass mark is a 700. It took me about three months to study for the exam. Um, and bear in mind during that time, I was working full time as well. So it was a case of finding one or two hours after work or on the weekends to just study and try and get an hour or so every day, at least an hour. Uh, I found that a little bit difficult at times, but it's also helpful because I was working as an Azure administrator. So um, I was able to get hands-on experience while I was studying for the exam, which was very helpful. So before I took the AZ-104, I had already taken the AZ-900 and I'd also had about four months of hands-on working experience. The exam is two hours long with 40 to 60 questions. I didn't use the full two hours and I can't remember exactly how many questions I got, um, but somewhere within, so maybe like 50 something, 52. Um, I got a mix of case study questions. I got obviously multiple choice and I got some drag and drop questions as well. So a good mix of different sort of questions in there. Now for the main resources I use to study for the AZ-104 as your administrator exam. So the first video that I would recommend watching is a video by Travis Media, uh, a channel called Travis Media. Uh, and this guy, Travis, um, he goes through study resources. He goes through how the exam was. And if it's your, if you're just getting into the exam, if you've just taken the exam or thinking about it for the first time, um, this is the video that you should watch first and then go from there. His video will give you a good introduction of what to expect and the way to study and what things to use. So Travis's video is really helpful. Um, it goes through everything you need to go through. It goes through the study material, goes through um, how the exam is itself. Um, kind of like what I've done in my two videos, um, but his is really good as well. Um, so have a look at both videos and definitely use whatever feels right for you. The course I use was a course by Scott Duffy. Um, this was a really good course. It was about 13 hours long um, and it goes through everything you need to know um, on the AZ-104. Of course, you can't use that course alone to pass, but um, that combined with other study material um, is really good. So that was the main course I used. Um, Scott Duffy, he updates the course regularly. So it's kept up to date and it's really good. It is a paid course. Um, it, it's not free, um, but I'll leave the link in the description and you can have a look and see exactly uh, the prices of that course. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I also use the Microsoft Learn website. This is not something I used um, thoroughly, I just used the website to check up on a few things where I didn't know the meaning or to go over things sometimes um, and have a look at the a few definitions or explanations on there. Um, the Microsoft Learn website is quite broad and it has a lot of things that you may not see on the exam. Um, so it's it's better to go through a course and also use Microsoft Learn on the side so you're not just um, looking through a broad website, you're looking through courses that will show you what you need for the exam as well. Lastly, I went through a channel called IDEA. I'll leave a link in the, in the description as well. IDEA is a great channel for the AZ-104. This lady, she gives detailed explanations of questions which are very similar to that of what is on the exam. 
So I'd, I'd suggest a day or two before your exam, go through those questions um, and get those explanations. Um, and that will be very helpful on the exam day. As you would know, guys, one thing that is really important is to go through practice tests and practice questions. Um, I have this really cool app on my phone where I can go through practice questions um, in my free time or when I'm bored, I can just flick through um, and go through different practice tests and yeah, go through answers. Um, this one is pretty good. Um, it's on the app store. I'll put the link in the bio as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's on Android as well, um, but I'll have a look. Um, but yeah, being able to look at questions that are similar to the exam and you've got the convenience to do this from wherever. It's got great explanations as well. Um, so definitely check this out, have a look and make sure you're going through as many questions as possible before the day of the exam. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, another video has been great. Thank you for the love and support on the last one. This is the reason I've come with another one so quickly. Um, keep supporting, keep sharing, keep uh, commenting if this video, if you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next video.